Hey there, Sumidian here, and welcome back to Morrowind. The last time we started the quests for the Astrologians Guild, and did a little bit of stuff. We investigated more of Arknik Thand, we found some kind of weird thingy, and we gave it to Nova, and she gave it to the guy, and then we got more quests. But today, we're going to be doing something completely different. Uh, between videos, I went back to Balmora, I put all my shit in my tent, so my inventory is a little bit less full, and I took out all of my armor hammers that I've had laying around so that I can repair my dragon blade as much as possible. <laughs> and yeah, I can't repair things very well yet because my armor skill is pretty garbo, but I mean, I need to level it, right? So, what are we doing today? Today we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. We got a lot of random miscellaneous quests clogging up our journal, and I would like to finish a few of them. I see. But first, uh, this is locked. First, I would like to buy some armor hammers to repair more. Hi, you have a nice haircut. Let's give me all 20 of these. How much do they cost? 20? Yeah, it's not bad. Oops. Uh, can I get a discount? How about 275? Oop, nope. 290? No. 310. Alright, time for loud noises as I repair again. This is basically like paying someone else to repair my stuff for me. Except I also get skills out of it. Alright, my armor hit 20. Or 10. Hell yeah. I could help you. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Uh, it's a little weighty, but that's fine. So which quest are we doing first? Well, first of all, we're going to head back to Sedanine. Because we've got a few quests over there, actually. We've got this one to find Fargoth's hiding place. I kind of... I kind of said I didn't want to... Like, steal from good old... Our good friend Fargoth, but I took the quest. I might as well do it. Then we got the final negotiations quest, which was the one at the docks, the shipyard or whatever. And then we got this one about Vodunius Nuckius. I forgot this was a thing, but apparently Vodunius Nuckius isn't very happy. And that's sad. So let's see if we can make him happy. Make a special trip just for you. Well, this guy wants I to fight me. Right. I mean, I guess I could fight him. Do the guards want to, like, help me? No? You don't want to do that? Okay. I'll do Craftsman Highwayman. Hmm. I assume that would be a book, but apparently it isn't. I don't know what it is. All right, take me to Sedanine, my good friend. Why walk when you can ride? Why walk when you can ride? All right, let's start by talking to what's his name? Vadunius Nuckius. You? No, you're Let's a guard. There is Vadunius Nuckius. My time is precious, so make it quick. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. All right, this guy's name is Maggot. Hello. Not happy here. In fact, no, I'm not. If I had a hundred drakes, I'd be on the next boat to Narsus. I came here to make my fortune, and all I've got is this cursed ring. Say, would you give me a hundred drakes for it? The ring itself is worth more than that, but the enchantment is cursed and no one will buy it from me. It has a nifty little enchantment that helps you run faster. Problem is, it sucks the blood right out of you every time you use it. Please, you'll be doing me a real favor. Sure. 
Thank you, you're a lifesaver. I'll grab the next boat out of here. Thanks again, and I hope your luck here is better than mine was. Let's hear it. So I got a cool cursed ring now. So when you use it, it damages your health 10 points, but it fortifies your athletics 5 points. Yeah. And I assume that finishes the quest. Yep. Alright. Now we can do this shipyard quest. Choice words to say. The last time I tried this quest was before I turned off all of the uh, combat changing mods. And I was also much lower level, so I'm hoping that it is much easier this time. But I'm going to quick save anyways before I talk to this guy. Alright. I have seen anyone out of the ordinary. I found the shady individual you were talking about. Follow me. This guy is so fucking strong, but I have the power of Restore Health Potions now. Die. Who the hell is this guy? Okay, I need to restore my fatigue too. I don't have restore fatigue potions anymore. Killed the first guy. My journal has been updated. Come on, buddy. Being attacked by a scrib? Doesn't this scrib see that I'm currently fighting this man who's running away from me? Oh, Kwama, not a scrib. So he has a glass dagger, which is worth a lot. I got a suspicious note and a shipyard contract. Rigma. I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing about that. Alright, so this guy died. That's very unfortunate, but I don't really care. I've killed Mavin Ilvin. He tried to sabotage the shipyard in Sadanine. Now let's read the suspicious note. Mavin, I require your services once more. It's time that we strike the Imperials where it hurts, without causing a direct conflict between our factions. If we sabotage their ships, they will be unable to sustain their colonization of our lands. It will take them a long time to figure out what happened. We need control over the Sadanine shipyard. I have found a suitable Imperial puppet that I will that will take over the business of Antonius Persis. I need you to convince Antonius Persis to sell his business. We'll find the contract on the second scroll. You shall receive a generous reward once the shipyard is under my control. Work on your own, as this operation must stay secret. Make sure to get rid of this note once you've read it. G.S. Carnius Giorgio. This is the this is an exact copy of the one I found in this tomb down here, wasn't it? That's interesting. My guess is that someone placed the spe or placed the thing in the wrong spot and it wasn't supposed to actually be in that tomb. That's what I would guess. I could just rest, but I need to level my restoration some, so I'm going to spam this spell until I'm at full health. Leveling magic in this game is a bit of a pain in the ass. Especially if you don't start off with the necessary skills. Like, my restoration was at 5. 
it's fair that my spell casting with restoration is kind of garbage. I do have something to report. You've killed one of them. Excellent work, Bosmer. Did he have anything on him that would suggest he was behind all this? A note, perhaps? Yes. You found a note on him. Let's see. It must be one of my competitors. Meshens the initials GS. That must be Goris Selman from Sadrith Mora. Else Tilvani tried to sabotage my business. Goris Selman will pay for this. I trust you, Bosmer. I want to carry out my revenge against Goris. Free is Khajiit's slave. Slavery is such a savage practice. That is slaves, you won't be able to build anything for quite some time. Will you do this for me? Yeah. Fuck slaves. Or not fuck slaves, fuck slavery. <laughs> Excellent, Bosmer. Here, take these scrolls of paralysis. Cast the scroll on the guard. That should give the slaves a good opportunity to escape. I have friends in the Mages Guild who will teleport them out of Telvani territory. Yeah. Okay, so now I need to go to Sadrith Mora. That's pretty far away. Sadrith Mora is like all the way over here somewhere. If I remember right. So we'll do that in a bit. First we gotta finish off the quest with Fargoth's hiding place. Now my good friend Fargoth, he doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve what I'm about to do to him. But I took the quest and I want to get it out of my quest or out of my journal, so I'm sorry my friend. Now to find Fargoth's hiding place. All you need to do is climb this lighthouse and wait until it is dark. And just watch him. Hello? This is a vanilla building. Why am I getting stuck on the geometry? Although this, the outside of this lighthouse does not look vanilla. I don't know what the hell they did to it. Um... Let's wait on top of this lighthouse for 11 hours. And watch Fargoth. What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, he's up to something. I bumped up the brightness again in OBS. I feel like it's not actually doing anything, though. So, I don't know what to do about the recording being too dark. I've tried everything I can think of, but there's no way to increase the brightness in-game other than indoors. Like, this option, the gamma correction option, only works for me. It doesn't work on the recording, so I don't know what to do. Uh, the game's just gonna be dark. That's just, it's just gonna happen. Alright, so Fargoth goes over there to this tree stump. And then he leaves. Alright. So, that should be good enough for me to go loot his hiding spot and give it back to the asshole in the bar. What do you want? Yep, here's his engraved ring of healing, 300 gold and a lockpick. Now the engraved ring of healing is what we gave back to him at the start of the game. It's not very good. Um, it's kind of a shitty little heal, but early game it can be decent when you're starved for good things. You found his hiding place, that's great. Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred gold and you can keep anything else that you found in there. Thanks for your help. Good that you found that for me, friend. I'll make that little fetcher pay for lying to me. Although, I've got to be honest, it is kind of fun messing with the little guy. I like to take something from his place and stick it in that old barrel in the census and excess courtyard. <laughs> gives the new arrival something to look forward to. Well, that explains how his ring got there. So Fargoth is no longer going to be our friend, which is unfortunate. Now we're friends with that guy. He's kind of a dick. Alright, what do we want to do now? We could go do this one to free Salman's Khajiit slaves, but Sadrith Mora, pretty far away, and I don't really want to go there. What I want to do is head back to the mainland and work on 
this one. So on the road east of Vol, I met an Imperial named Vontus who was eager to bet against me. After taking my 25 septums, he ran off southwards at a tremendous speed, screaming in apparent pain. I'm supposed to catch him. So Vol was here. And he went this way. So I would like to go look for him. Because I got nothing to better to do with my life. So let's recall to old Ebonheart. I am out of Magicka. Okay, let's rest. Let's leave town and rest because it's illegal to rest in town, but resting like 10 feet outside of town, that's perfectly fine and reasonable. All right, take me to old Ebonheart. Take me to old Ebonheart. Take me to old Ebonheart. There we go. Feels like forever since we've been back on the mainland, even though it's only been two episodes, I think. Here we are, back in old Ebonheart. I don't think there's a fast way to get to... Ah, the sun. It's so bright. I don't think there's a fast way to get to Vol unfortunately. So I'm going to be going the long... So I'm going to be taking the road. I am getting faster, like, as I level my athletics and other things, my speed's increasing, so I can move a little bit faster. Like, look at this. Look at this running. Look how fast I go. Wow. I'm waiting. Let's get this over with quickly. So, a, a cleanup video like this, I think, is necessary sometimes. Sometimes you just get a lot of junk to do. You got so much stuff, so many quests, so many things to do. And it can be, it can be tedious and frustrating to do all of these quests, even though they're kind of fun. So having a day or two of cleanup is nice. While I'm in the area, I can also visit these towns more. I didn't really do a whole lot in these towns, like um, Dondril and Vol. I didn't do a whole lot. And while I'm on the road, I'd like to level up my other combat skills, mainly Marksman. Just because I have this Arbalist on me. Oh my god. The accuracy on this thing is so shitty. Hey, my medium armor has increased because of one of like, my backpack is medium armor, I think. Okay. Apparently... My marksman is so shitty I can't hit anything with it. I guess that's fair. It is only 26. Let me rest a bit. My magic is low. Whoa. Why did it switch me to my... spell? I didn't have my spell out, did I? I can collect some mushrooms, too. Yeah, I'll I'll explore a little bit of Dondril and Vol like along the way, cause there's probably more quests in there somewhere. This is a large mod, after all. It's got to be full of all sorts of interesting content. Hello. Be on your way, Outlando. You'll gain nothing by dawdling in Dondril. What about Dagathur? Dagathur is the evil immortal enemy of the Tribunal Temple cult. The temple holds Dagathur and his hosts accountable for all the evils that beset the Dunmer and Morrowind. Okay. Hmm. 
How are you today? Hello, you're just a guard. Bothrus Vorum, the village smith. Uh, you don't have anything that's speaking to me. That's a shrine. What do you want? Just a random mage. Alchemist, you say. Go ahead, stranger. I'm a merchant acting on behalf of this community in Mother's Cell Roadair. I trade goods produced by this village or produced by House Indorel to passing traders and travelers in return for goods that the Indorel or the locals can use. Okay. Do you have anything cool? This is a decent scroll. Mostly I have like a bunch of garbage though. You've got alchemy supplies of various sorts. An outlander in my home. What's this village coming to? Please, if you hear about Lord Inderel Ilby's bounties, then just say so. I am Hetman Nalas Varro of Dondril. I represent its needs to the Inderil Ilby and offer lodgings to his guards as they tirelessly patrol the Antherin. As an int itinerant priest of the temple, I roamed from village to village, preaching the Tribune's sermons. Yet I never saw many outlanders until I settled here. They wander in peddlers, sell swords, abolitionists, and the like. Nothing but nuisances. The chapel estate of Roa Devere offer it often issues bounties for escaped slaves or thrown thieves and highwaymen. Hermans such as myself make the available bounties known to the general public, and anyone can pursue to collect a bounty. Rewards for bounties can be collected from any hetman in the chapel tree of Roa Devere. Tell me about the bounties. So she's been robbing pilgrims on Vela's paths path east of Almasthir. Highwaymen on major roads are nothing new, but for someone to attack innocent pilgrims so close to the chapel of Roadir is an outrage that Lord Inderil Ilvi cannot have. Her many Inalith must die. Voris Odothil, a commoner, reportedly saw her latest attack. Voris's home is on Vela's path southeast of Roadir. Perhaps you should speak to him. Okay. So there's another quest that we can do. Murder and a highwayman. Speak, traveler. Okay, so this is the bar, I guess. Find us in the land. Well, it looked like it was dead. How was I supposed to know it was? What are you talking about? So, you want something? Ow, oh, my knees. Alright, well, I'll work on that bounty later. For now, I want to go and find this guy who... Oh, this was stealing? Why does this count as stealing? Nobody saw me, thankfully. There's just a master's armor hammer here. I'll take that. And that. And that. They're mine now. Thanks! Alright, I remember this area. With the slaves and the people. Uh, no. dare you attack me. Got some nice clothes there, bud. Oh, an upgrade for my shield. Yeah. Love upgrades. Oh, but this shield's bigger. 
takes up too much of the screen. I love collecting alchemy supplies. It will help me level my alchemy later. Okay, so... Vol is this way. Interesting. Almalexia is also this way. I wonder if that's been... finished. I don't think it has. Like, Almalexia is the capital of Morrowind, and it's where the Tribunal expansion takes place. I don't think that this mod has changed it yet. The uh, Tamriel rebuild mod, I don't believe it has changed it yet. Did I go here? Into this tomb? I think I did. Let me peek in real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did. I can tell because the map was full. Am I going to peek into Vol? I mean, I might as well. Maybe I'll get more quests. Hello. You like my goods, Macera? Worth a few coins, yes? Name's Anvos Dovian. Not much for chatting. I would rather let my goods do the talking if you take my meaning, Sarah. What do you got? Arct wall. Nothing too fancy. Got a Grandmaster's armor or hammer. Is that Curus an upgrade? It sure is. It's the only thing I really want. Let me, uh... Hi, I like your sideburns. They're very pretty. Let me buy this. See if I can get a little discount. No? Okay. I love upgrades. Care to trade. They make me happy. Hey, it's the temple. Though Saint Surin's mercy extends even to your kind, Outlander, our temple has little to offer you. We have enough on our hands trying to cleanse the temple grounds. Oh, this sounds like a quest. You've seen him outside, haven't you? That Siviet Tong peddler, Anvos Dovian. He's been playing, plying his trinkets on temple grounds for the past few days now. You can make him leave. All the Outlanders his stand attracts are distracting the priests and the worshippers. Sure, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Sharia Lightfoot. If you need any help, feel free to attempt to seek the temple's wisdom. The Hetman might provide sound advice, too. So this is the temple. We are the devoted servants and faithful of the tribunal. We worship and revere Almalexia, the healing mother, Sothasil, the teacher, and Vivek, the warrior poet. We're together known as Alm City. It is our duty and privilege to share their mercy, wisdom, and justice with the people of Morrowind, and to guide the faithful to the righteous paths. Shia Lightfoot, you need not be wary of the peddler. He's a misguided but common myrrh. Show him the exemplary lives of our saints, and he might, he might rethink his decisions. There's a book somewhere that might interest you. God, fucking the temple. Fit is out yes. for Hi, I'm here to convince you to leave. You can't make me leave, Sarah. I did nothing wrong. You and your customers are distracting the worshippers. If I were you, I wouldn't set up shop here. All right, Sarah, I'll leave. Well, that was fucking easy. Care to trade? Hi, I got him to leave. You talked to him and he agreed to stop peddling. What an interesting turn of events. Here's your pay for a job well done. Tell me more about the civet tongue. Set a poor example for everyone in the village. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. So what's this regarding? Look, I just did a quest for you. Could you, like, like me a little bit more? 
Is there anything else funny in here? Another outlander visits Vool. You ought to keep to your own people. God, everyone's such a dick. Make it quick, partner. Why does everyone hate me? I've got so much personality. Say what you want. He actually did leave. I'm glad I bought the thing that I wanted from him before he left. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Quickly, Hi. Outlander. I have to muster. Oh, come on, leave me alone. The Howling Hound. Is this like a bar? Make it quick, Outlander. I don't have any dialogue options. I'm gonna make a profit, friends. Then you wandered into the wrong village. These swindling dark elves will pinch your pack clean. That's what they are, the whole lot of them. The minute I set foot in their miserable village, they were hawking food and trinkets to me. Only afterwards did I realize I hadn't gotten a fair deal. You're not from around here either, are you? Maybe you'd get have better luck getting these swindlers to fess up to cheating me. Or I'll help. Thank you, Sharia Lightfoot. It seems there's some honor left in this village. Not yet. What say you? Who am I talking to? By the gods, this is a tough crowd. Ah, hello, Sharia Lightfoot, is it? You wouldn't be having open to helping a bard with his act tonight, would you? Most bards sing. I have a terrible singing voice, so I tell stories instead. Par parables and folktales, you know. I have one all ready to go for tonight, but I need a second actor if you'd be interested. Sure. Oh, thank you. This will make things so much easier. Here, take the script. It's a rough one, so I don't expect you to follow the lines exactly. Just try to make it comedic, yes? Maybe what these native fetchers need is more levity. Tell me when you're ready to start the show. You'll be playing the part of the Mabragash. How are you today? Alright, let's read this play. Alright, uh... Okay, so my first line is, I will suffer this request. Imp, tell me your wish. Then, very well for you, I have summoned this girl. You said you liked them young. I summoned for you this older woman. Are you pleased now? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. Well, uh... Sneak, traveler. And for our next performance, ladies and gentlemen, the Mabragash of the Fear River. Come on now, Mabragash, bow to the audience. I bow and smile. That's right, that's right, and of course, in the starring role, yours truly. I am Nelly Lear Tedlu, and I have heard it be said that there is a Mabragash living on the Fear River with the power to grant wishes. I have journeyed long and hard to find her, and after many trials, finally does she stand here before me. Mabragash, by the power of the tribunal, I beseech you, grant me my wish. I will suffer this request, Imp. Tell me your wish. Oh, Mabragash, but what I would wish for a nice young girl with eyes like the rubies of Red Mountain and teeth shining like pearls. Very well, for you I have summoned this girl. You said you liked them young. No, no, this won't do. She is still swaddled in her Talonia. I want something older, Mabragash, much older. Grant me my wish. Then I summon for you this older woman. Oh, she is hideous, an ancient hag. Her skin is wrinkled like an old guar's, and she is missing all of her teeth. Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for, Nilair. Oh, haha, ha, very clever, Mabergash. Let me be clear, you cunning old witch. I wish for a woman, neither old nor young, with good teeth still in her gums, who desires to kiss me all night long. Oh, very well, Nilair. I have summoned for you a third woman. Does she meet your specifications? Oh, Mabergash, she is more than I ever imagined. Her skin is flawless, and her eyes glow, and her teeth... Her teeth! You... You have summoned for me a vampire! You know what they say about making wishes? I think she would like to kiss your neck all night long. No, what have you done? Stay away from me. I said stay away. Are you okay? This isn't an act. Look behind you. Where did this vampire come from? Oh, holy shit. I'm getting destroyed. Uh... 
restore health, give some restore fatigue. I'm gonna die. Jeez. What is this? You're on your honor. It's a good thing you were here. Thanks for helping a bard out. I suppose I must explain what is going on. I have been cursed by a Daedra. I poked around in a Daedra ruin, you see, thinking I'd finally understand why my people honor them so. But one of them chose to honor me instead by offering to make my storytelling more interesting. Can you believe my naivete? I accepted, thinking they must be benevolent beings like the Aedra I'm used to in Cyrodiil. And like the Mabrigash, the Daedra granted your wish in a way you didn't intend. You could certainly say that, yes, but now that you have slain it, I am free to go back to telling my boring tales in peace. Lucky me, huh? Here, take this. I used to use it in a comedy act, but I'm finding it's a little too real. Nine divines guide you, my friend, or I suppose as they say around here. Else, Elm City, bless. Shia Gorath's favor. Is that a amulet? Cast when you summon Scamp for 60 seconds. It's not bad. What am I currently using for my necklace? Oh yeah, my pouch. Well, I'm keeping that. Uh, I guess I need to help this guy find... some swindling dark elves. The Nord Traveler in the inn, if what he says is true, talk with one of the peddlers of the Siviet Tong. They're the only ones in Vool who trade with outlanders. Tell your friends about this place. Alright, well let's look for some Siviet Tong members. A lot of these people do not have dialogue, which is interesting. Like not even the generic stuff that everyone has. Are you a member of the Civiet Tongue? Don't ask me, I didn't even talk to the Nord. Maybe a little gift can help us understand each other better. How about 50 coins? Oh no, you can't just buy me. If you want to give someone a gift, you need to know them. A jug of grief after a long day is what gives me joy. All right, all right. I only do this because I like you. The Nord's soft in the head. He is terrible at bartering. Give this to him as a sign of goodwill. I figure it must be valuable to him, but don't tarnish my reputation by telling someone I got a few coins off of him. On his lockbane boots. It's a pretty shitty boot. Uh, Dolan Valor hasn't given you a fair deal. I knew it! Were you able to retrieve anything I've sold? Yes, here, take it back. Thank you, Shari Lightfoot. Okay, I guess I need to go find more. Talk if you're talking. Step back, monster. Cheap illusion spells won't fool me. At least you nearly pass as a foreigner, not like the one at the inn. Even with you, there is a smell of wax of putrid seawater, so speak, drow. Have you come for my husband? What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean, fake Bosmer. Serho Westled your champion to death during our pilgrimage to the Coal Cave, as do so as many do to reenact our lord's fight with the ruddy man. But you couldn't let it go, could you? What the hell? Since then, at least ten of you have come to Vool, badly disguised as merchants and outlanders, following my husband, waiting for the right moment to exert bloody vengeance. We don't even sleep anymore, so have you come to kill me first, Dro? I am not. I'm... I'm Sharia Lightfoot. As I already told you, you can't fool me. Your eyes are not of the Bosmer people. If Vanis could see your true form as I do, he would lose his mind. Tell me about the one in the inn. Yes, he is also clearly a drow. Red skin that peels under the sun, an unmistakable whiff of foul fish, words like underwater burble. He calls himself a Nord, which would seem even worse to some of us, but it is obvious to me how he hides his clamped pincers. I don't know why this lady thinks I'm a drow, but I ain't. Can I climb this? Are you Civet Tong? No, you're 
you're just a random lady. Excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like, okay? What is it now? Uh, I don't have any charm spells or scrolls or anything like that, so I can't make him like me better. So I'm going to hope that he's not one of the people that I need to talk to for this quest. There's a Silt Strider here! This goes to Almasthur or Amra. Why walk when you can ride? That's a good question. And you're just on top of people's houses. It's an interesting city layout, but it makes sense for, like... I don't know. Where can I find more of these people? Are they out front? Are they the people out front? Like, over here? Oh, yes. Don't ask me, I didn't even talk to the Nord. Are you sure? I already told you I didn't trade with him. What if I, uh, do this? I like your handprint on your face. It looks very nice. But you're a little tricksy. How about 70? The Nord was here yesterday, trying to outsmart me at my own trade. Needless to say, things didn't work out for him so well. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Nor traveling at the inn. If what he says is true, talk along the palace of the Tom. They're not called the Swindler's Guild for nothing. Do I believe you? Do you care to trade? Go ahead. I'm waiting. Tell me more about the Civic Tong. Full often sees path travelers pass through the village from larger towns nearby. These visitors, outlanders for the most part, travel with a heavy purse, and some of the local tradesmen are banded together to capitalize on them. This is how the Tong formed. After a few years of buying low and selling high, they are starting to do so well even the Indoril have become concerned. Indoril are not used to commoners having wealth and don't know how to deal with it. This is why Ilvi and the Temple can't stand the Tong, but they couldn't find any dirt on the traders so far, and I don't believe they will. Many of the Tong are well-respected in Vul, and while their practices are not entirely honorable, they are doing nothing illegal. Okay, so they're just like dicks, but not illegal dicks. So. Okay, so I have found two people that have admitted to cheating him out of stuff, but... She called me a what? Please take these moonstones as a token as my gratitude. You deserve them. Farewell, Shari Lightfoot. I got three moonstones. Hell yeah. And that ends the quest. I suppose so. All right. I think that will do it for today. Next time, we will probably continue this cleanup operation and look for the man who ran south very fastly. See you guys then. Leave me.